What is going on everybody? I hope you're doing well. Uh, we are here today playing a different type of game for the channel. Uh, today we will be playing Victoria 3, which is a strategy game set in the Victorian era. And basically all you want to do is try and build up industry and establish policies, all that good stuff kind of happening during that like industrial revolution period. Um, so I won't waste any more time. We'll just kind of hop right in. I'm going to hit new game. And now I did do a little bit of like a tutorial type playthrough just to kind of get a feel for how the game goes because of Paradox Interactive, the people who make this game, they get a little crazy with how much stuff there is to focus on. So I wanted to play the tutorial real quick, um, but now that I kind of got a feel for how things work, we're just going to go right into sandbox mode and just kind of start a game. And now for those of you who don't know, Paradox also does uh, Crusaders Kings 3, uh, which is set in like the medieval times. And then they also do City Skylines, uh, which is are both great games, honestly, in my opinion. All right. Now let's see where we're going to start. Now I did give it some thought as far as where I want it to be. Um, and honestly, I think we are going to set ourselves up in the Caribbean here. Um, and I originally I wanted to be Cuba because I thought that would be kind of interesting, um, you know, just with everything going on. But then I realized that they were kind of controlled by Spain at the time. And I thought it would be a little bit more interesting to play their neighbor, Haiti, um, since Haiti is actually just overcoming the, uh, the Haitian revolution here. Um, so I thought it would be really nice to kind of build this country up. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and play as Haiti. And now the game is paused right now, so we're just going to try and focus on a few things. Um, bureaucracy is in the negative, which is not too good. Um, we have a lot of authority, which is really nice let's move on to influence is not bad and our money is really where we're hurting right now um looks like we have a lot of expenses going out and we're not making enough revenue to kind of counteract that so let's go in to let's do budget first and so this taxation level, I could increase this. Um, however, it's already pretty towards the high end. Um, and if I do this, basically I'm going to piss a lot of people off. Um, instead, I think we're gonna focus on consumption taxes. So basically we're just gonna tax specific things. Um, and now here, I think we'll definitely tax services just because that's usually a pretty safe one from what i gather um and then i also want to tax tobacco because i would like to get to be kind of like a, a big tobacco exporter and hopefully have that kind of be our uh, cream of the crop that we really benefit off of and now let's go in yeah so we're already exporting tobacco which is great um these other trade routes with the clippers I do need because they help maintain um, our trade routes. So I want those. These other two, I think I'm just going to get rid of them altogether. Like I'd rather have, especially starting out and not really knowing what I'm doing, it's nice to have like trade routes that I can focus on and like I set up myself. So. Tobacco, I'm going to keep because I do want to export that. Um, and then the clippers we're going to keep because, like I said, that's important for our trade routes overseas. So that looks good. Um, moving on, let me take a quick look at politics. So not too bad on legitimacy. Um, that is good. Uh, basically, we come into our government here. We have these different factions that kind of have their own wants and desires and then kind of what percent they make up. Um, so we do want to listen to them. Uh, we definitely don't want to have rebellions breaking out and things like that because that's just going to set us back as far as progress goes. Um, so we'll try and keep as many of them happy as possible. 
I'm looking into laws. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot I can do right now. Um, basically, the parties kind of drive the laws. So we will keep an eye on this as we go along here. Okay, um, so first things first, like I said, I really want to focus on tobacco. So let's head into buildings. I want to focus on Santo Domingo. Um, so we have banana plantations, rice farms, and the tobacco plantations started up right now. I'm going to get rid of our rice farms. And we are going to get tobacco up to... Let's get it to level 5 for now. I think we'll be good. And then other than that, opening up the technology tree, taking a look here. So we have research that helps with production, research that helps with our military, and then finally research that helps advance society. Um, all this stuff is great. I feel like it's really kind of the direction you want to take your country at any given time as far as what you focus on. Um, and two, I realized that other countries are working on the same stuff, and if they have a big breakthrough, it seems like you do as well, which is good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and focus on production. I'm going to select the lathe just because my goal right now is to follow this track down and get railways. I really like getting railway railroads. Um, I think it's a big sign of progress for like the country, and it helps keep it all like interconnected. Um, so we're going to go with railroads here. So we're going to work our way down this line and hopefully we'll get to that pretty soon. I may stop to focus on some societal points. It really just depends on how the rest of the world's developing. But production's kind of where I want to focus us for now. All right, so we'll set that. So we have a technology that we're researching. We're going to try and get our tobacco plantations expanded. And yeah, I think we will just go ahead. I'm going to hit it on the fastest speed just because it does take a little bit for things to spring up. And we will we'll hit play. And I can check the journal too. That just kind of gives us some tasks to focus on. Right now we only have one active and that is from farms to factories. We'll complete if peasants is less than 35%. Haiti does not have serfdom enacted. Haiti does not have land-based taxation and the industrialists are not marginalized. And if we get that, that will trigger the road to progress. Standard of living is going up. We like to see that. And now I can too, because they have different lenses basically down here. Uh, so this kind of just shows me my production lenses and where we're really focusing. Uh, political lenses shows me basically all of my factions and kind of who's in charge where, but it will also tell me kind of where rebellion is starting to break out if it gets there. Hopefully it doesn't get there, but if it does, that will kind of pop up there. The diplomatic lens, from what I gather, focuses more on our relations with the outside world. Um, so, you know, we can set up alliances, improve relations, um, form packs, and all of that good stuff is just kind of hanging out here. Barracks, naval bases, military lens here, and then the trade lens, which the most important tabs, from what I gather, are our import and exports. Basically, all of our resources are sitting right here, and anytime we need something, we could just click it and set up a given trade route. So, that all hides in there. Our money is going up, which is good. We definitely don't want to be in the red, especially being so behind as far as getting uh, industry up and running. Um, and then it looks like we'll be maxing out our budget very soon, which is fine. Um, I mean, it says that if you max it out, it can kind of have repercussions as far as like you're losing profits. But honestly, I'd rather be too good of an economy than <laughs> in the toilet. So and we already got our first level up. The tobacco plantation is fully employed, so that's great. And now 
the Caribbean is uh, a little bit iffy just because how divided it is. So like you come over here and the Bahamas are ruled by the British and Cuba is ruled by the Spanish and Jamaica ruled by the British and Puerto Rico, the Spanish and the West Indies by the British and the French West Indies by the French. And so every like major power has some sort of claim to what's going on in here, um, except for Haiti. So that's... You know, good good for Haiti. Oh, I do... I'm going to pause this real quick. Because diplomatic plays, I do want to um, improve our relations. I would like to do that with the United States, just because they're on our side. And God forbid if something happens... Um, where a war breaks out, it's good to have a big world power on our side. So we're going to try and improve our relations over here with the U.S. And hopefully that works. And then I think we're going to improve relations with Cuba too. Um, just because they are our neighbors and Cuba has a lot of natural resources that they just haven't tapped into yet. But once they do, being able to form some sort of trade pact with them or get the resources that we want from them, um, it'll be good to have those relations already established. All right. I'm just waiting on those tobacco farms, but they are springing up. We are producers of big tobacco here. And now I think we, let me double check, but I'm pretty sure we export that tobacco to the French. Yeah, but I'm not sure if that's because of like our choice or if we're kind of indebted to them. Probably the latter. We'll probably owe them a, like a lot of money, but you know, it's fine. They want to buy our tobacco and give us money. I'm not going to say no. And we've just unlocked the lathe, which is a huge development. We're going to go in because now it's yelling at us that we have no active research. So we're going to go in and we are going to focus on atmospheric engine. We can get that rolling. Perfect. Looks like we only got about 60 weeks left until our tobacco plantations are expanded to level 5. So that would be perfect. And then I think we are going to focus on getting lumber mills started up in Haiti just because lumber is one of the few resources that we do have and it's going to help as far as construction goes. So we definitely want to roll out the lumber. And now, as much as I want to focus on production and get Haiti to a point that it is fairly successful, I also want to try and move Haiti in the direction of, you know, being an ideal society um, as far as, like, inclusiveness and things like that. Um, one thing I have realized with this game is that it's very resilient to let you do crazy things. Um, so the same way that kind of, like, change has come with time um, for us and our history, um, it's that same way in the game, and they are not going to let you throw out off-the-wall policies and just be okay with them. You do have people in this game with their own drives, um, and they're going to ultimately tell you what they're okay with and what they're not. Uh, which, is, which is good, that's how it should be, you know, the people rule, all that jazz. But we want to move them in the direction of the more ideal policies. 7 weeks left on our tobacco farm and again that's really just to get it to the next level it'll probably take another 30 weeks to get to level 5 which is what we're after and now this lens too not sure what to do about it um, we do loyalists are great uh, the only problem with loyalists is that we don't have enough um, the radicals ultimately 
are the majority here and that kind of sets us up to be in a bad place just because it may lead to rebellions down the line. All we can do there is try and rally more people behind us and I think I can do that in the political lens and just kind of moving the major groups onto our side and kind of enter them into the government but I will fiddle with that a little bit later. Um, they do want us to enact racial segregation. I'm not going to do that, even though it would make them very happy, I'm sure. Uh, just because it wouldn't make me happy. So we're going to leave that out. Oh, look at that. So this is what I was talking about as far as like technology that we haven't researched. So Napoleonic Warfare, we didn't research that. I think the rest of the world just got ahead on it and that technology is now passed to us, which it works for me. I'm not gonna complain. Now we can see over here, relationships are going up with Cuba and the US, which is great. We definitely wanna try and max those out as much as possible. And now just for those of you that are curious, we're going to pop over. So here's the United States at the time. It is obviously, as you can tell, not what it looks like today. Um, a lot of stuff going on here. But hopefully, you know, we'll kind of watch this develop over time. And sometimes with these, what's great about these games is that it doesn't follow history so strictly as as it actually happened this game is really like an alternate history so you know things could get super wild and mexico could take all of this if it wanted to and you know that's kind of what makes it fun is the predictability slash unpredictability of it and yeah we like that okay so tobacco plantations down here are expanded to level five which is all i really want for now we have the option to improve that with time goes on and i very well may but i need to shift production focus into building and construction and development so i'm going to go onto the haiti side we own both we own both sides here so haiti and santo domingo we're going to focus on the haiti side we have zero logging camps right now i want to change that and honestly i want to max that one out as soon as possible just because we'll start getting lumber in here and i'm gonna need that to further develop the rest of the country and you know strange as it is you know themes of games i feel like a lot of games granted i feel like i play a lot more survival games so i feel like survival games focus on it more but the concept of like getting wood to build what you need to build is like scattered across games all over the place it was like it's minecraft you're punching trees and in this we're building logging camps so same concept again just scattered differently across games oh we got banking that's great And now, I believe if we get into that banking stock market stuff, it will kind of raise our cap for how much money we can hold at a given time. Not 100% on that, but I think that's how it works. And if so, that's great because we can kind of stockpile a lot more. Um, just because I've noticed these are very, like, finicky economies. Like, you can do one thing and your economy will boom because of it, and then you can make one bad investment or one bad trade route, and now you're in the red and everything is going terrible. So definitely, you kind of have to watch it. it. It adjusts with time, and I think that's just due to different things being produced and different things being more desired. So it definitely fluctuates, and you kind of have to monitor that closely and make sure that you're adjusting with, with it. So 
So two weeks until the logging camps are started. It'll only be like a level one at this point. Yep, log camps built in Haiti. So we only have a level one right now, but that's okay. Like I said, we're going to focus on getting that maxed out just because this lumber over here is going to help build everything we want to build in here. So we will give that some time in the early game to develop. Uh, banana plantations over here are fully employed. That's great. And now let me just show you the building potential that we have here. Um, so we're working on maxing out our logging camps now, which is great. We do want to focus on that. After that, I think we need to build a construction sector just because that's going to help focus. It's It helps us build faster from what I gather. And that's important because once all of our raw resources are here, like the wood, and I think we're going to have to import fabric, once that is set up, then there really isn't anything holding us back from development, 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 and kind of setting the stage that we want to be at. So we will focus on that after. I'm actually gonna click it. We are gonna lose revenue because of it, but honestly, that's okay. I really don't pay too much attention to revenue when it comes to what you build because in your head you can balance it out better so we are going to build a construction sector we will build that in haiti just because haiti currently has more peasants and if that's going to create jobs i would like to create it for the population that's suffering a little bit more so we will build that in haiti And now here, what's nice in this corner is that you can get an idea for kind of what's going on in the rest of the world. So like in here, they're taking on debt. Oh, and it's gone. I guess I'll show you the next one. Um, and it also gives us the Haitian market, which is our market. Um, it's going to show us kind of what's going up and what's going down. And really what drives that is, A, are we producing it ourselves? Um, first and foremost, just because that will keep the cost fairly low, or B, uh, are we importing enough of it that we can keep the cost down? And that's really what drives the market as far as trying to get prices down. Obviously, if we're not able to manufacture things ourselves, then the cost will be high, and the cost will be high if we're not able to have a productive trade route. And then the current situation tab, I love. It basically just gives you a rundown of what is going on and kind of where your areas of concern are. I like that. That paired with having the journal is really nice. So the journal gives you direction and guidance and the current situation tab really just kind of tells you what's going on in the immediate that you should probably address sooner versus later. Um, this one is basically just saying we have battalions in our reserve, which are great. Uh, that's our little tiny army there i'm um, stockpiling gold this is what's telling us like i said that we basically we have reached our maximum as far as how much money we're going to be able to store so they're like well you should probably spend it so we should focus on that but again i'm going to have a bit of a construction boom here soon so i'm going to keep that gold stockpiled for now and then this one is telling us that the trade route exporting tobacco to the French market needs additional convoys to increase its level. And we want to keep increasing our level as time goes on. Convoys are... Oop, it just told you so I don't have to. Convoys are produced by port buildings and are required to operate shipping lanes. So we want to get more so that that trade route can go. Because like I said, tobacco is our big focus as far as getting money. So I'm just going to pause real quick just so we can look at our technology tree and see where we are at. So we focused on atmospheric engineering. That was to get to our railways. 
and then the lathe we're going to use to try to get mechanical tools and because progress has already been made there it's only going to take us like 11 to 19 weeks which is perfect And again, technology keeps moving even when we aren't focusing on it, and the we have the tap steamer. And again, here they want us to enact closed borders, but that's really only one party, and I'm pretty sure they're a minority. So we aren't really going to listen to that too much. Um, if anything, I think we need to get more people in here. Uh, hopefully supporters. <laughs> like I said, our loyalists are... Too few to count. Not too much longer. It's going to be a little bit for these log cabins. Just waiting on the max out. Take a look at what's going on in Jamaica. Cuba. It looks like Cuba's focusing a little bit on their, their stuff. Actually, I don't even have to guess. I can literally just click it and get an overview. Look at that. We have mechanical tools. Hold on. We will come back to that. I'm going to open this. We are going to learn the railways technology because, like I said, I really, really want to get to that point, and I think it would be great to get to that point. And then once we have it, I may wait to build it until our industries have caught up. Because right now we are literally not producing anything of use except for raw materials like lumber and the tobacco which we export. So it may be a little bit before we get to seeing trains moving through here, but we're setting ourselves up to be at that point. Now anyway, let's focus on Cuba and see what is going on. So they're a part of the Spanish market um, because they're linked with Spain over yonder. So they are actually in their market. Um, pretty big population compared to ours and their standard of living is impoverished. Which is, I think, right where we're at just because... We don't really have industry. Um, the difference between Cuba and us is Cuba is a slave state that can utilize slave labor. And we are not. Oop, we got an event springing up here. Hold on. Pause our game. Armando Repelado has challenged uh, Jamie Albizu to a duel to the death. The aura surrounding the two figures is something out of a romantic novel. Naomi Albizu is smiles. He has been rehearsing this moment before falling asleep. Armando Ripolato, you are a friendless bastard. You just didn't go into your pickle weapon. And I mean, now these are two, I'm pretty sure, pol yeah, politicians. One is for the bourgeoisie, and the other is the trade unions. See, and I'm kind of rooting for the trade unions to pull through over this guy. But you know what? Oh, Armando's the one that wants to fight? Oh, let him fight. See what happens. Well, that's what he gets for wanting to fight. <laughs> I can't go to the detail screen, but, uh, yeah, so the trade union politician picked a fight, trying to have a duel, and he lost. And, you know, you win some, lose some, and unfortunately, he lost some. <laughs>
logging camps are fully employed. We have the stock exchange. That's a great modifier. The trade route bureaucracy costs are down and however trade routes will get more competitive which is ugh. does it give me any hints as far as what i can do um no it's just giving me the numbers but it's not telling me we are in the year 1841 moving through I may fast forward this a little bit for you guys just because ultimately, I mean, unless something happens, but primarily it's really just getting our logging camps up to par. So, and I mean, you don't have to watch as time goes by. So I'll probably skip ahead a little bit for you guys. Um, and that's just to save you the annoyance. Alrighty, and it looks like our logging camps are finally built. So those are maxed out, which is going to be a huge help further down the line. Um, Oh, looks like we're having a little bit of turmoil due to our incredibly high uh, radical population, which is not good and not helping. Um, now I queued up the construction sector. Oh, look at that. We completed that task. So from farms to factories completed, and that is going to queue the road to progress. The industrialists have expressed their satisfaction with the direction being taken by the country and its newly built factories. There's only one possible direction, forward. Progress is like a train that doesn't stop, doesn't wait for anyone, you're either in or out. And then we can say that we've done this for our people, or that we shall support the trains. Um, so basically the industrialists will get favored um, versus just increasing our loyalists. And honestly, you know what, we did it for the people, let's get those loyalists up a little bit. You know, because we have the radical population, you know, right down here, ready to put the torch to the country, so. Perfect. And just about done in the construction sector. Perfect, and the construction sector is built in Haiti. So I think we are going to stop this video here. Um, you know, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to like it, leave a comment. Um, I love looking through those, so definitely leave me a little something to look at. And other than that, when we come back, we'll probably be focusing on getting our industries to be even better. You know, starting a paper mill, trying to get government established, and all those good things. But that's it for now. Take it easy.